Alrighty. Hello, 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 hello. Or oh, is it a little bit early to start enjoying the whole Christmas uh, fever? Well, if you go to the shops, that's what's going on. Jordan, how's it going? Sandy Walker. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me just uh, introduce everybody else that's here. Jamie Cole, AJ, how's it all going? Uh, Robert, how's it going, man? Sean Briscombe, thank you so much for tuning in. Marisa, Carolyn Zinetti, there you go. And Sandy Walker, all tuning in. Merry Christmas! Uh, I hope y'all um, gonna be celebrating with your families because this is the time of the year. If you're not in America, I mean, obviously, you've already started with Thanksgiving and all that. But if you're anywhere else in the world, Christmas is a time where you combine and meet up with family, etc., etc. Um, it's sort of, it's sort of, you know, it's sort of hit and miss with a lot of people. Some people take it as a religious uh, break. Some people just take it as a normal, you know, holiday where you just really take uh, time off of work, which is what we take it for. So be as it may, I wish you the best holidays to come because obviously you've worked hard in 2017. I saw you, I heard about you, and I know you did. Tina, thank you so much for tuning in. I will be seeing you on Tuesday. I'm so excited about that. So um, if you're just tuning in for the first time, I um, uh, really want to you know, thank you so much for your time, for everything else um, you know, that you guys have done for me this whole year. And as you would know, my belief really is that every person that's got an online business out there, they should be profitable, all right? They should be making a lot of money in their business and also they should be enjoying working in that business. And I also believe that once you're at that stage, um, you know what I mean? You should be able to create for and relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of. So that's the reason why every single day we come around here, we don't normally play Christmas songs, but we, we come around here and um, I really teach you a simple four-step um, you know, process that has helped me make a lot of money. <laughs> And also a lot of friends along the way. Um, it's a really simple four-step process, um, you know, where you capture the right kind of people, um, you know, give them the right kind of content. So you engage them, educate them, and you're providing them with value. And you convert them by solving their problems and not selling to them and just measuring and tracking and putting out calls to action there. And then also just connecting with the people on a personal level, you know, with relationships, proving your authority, branding yourself in the process, and creating a community around your work. Now, Emma, how are you doing, my love? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. All right. So in all essence, besides all this craziness and excitement, I actually help businesses like yours to grow through digital marketing strategies. My main, um, you know, my main thing is, um, you know, SEO. So it's one of those things that a lot of, um, you know, companies don't know how to actually rank uh, so that people can find them. Lisa, how are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode here. And if you're really tuning in for the first time, please type in where you are tuning in from so that we see the impact of this show towards the end of the year. Nicole, how's it going, my love? Thank you so much for tuning in. Now, obviously, let's get started, all right? I really want to find out from you what is your definition of entrepreneurship? What do you think your vocation is or what is it... Um, what do you believe entrepreneurship means to you or what does it mean to you? Can you please type in the comments there? Uh, Nicole, thank you so much. Can you please type in the comments what entrepreneurship means to you? What is it that you wake up every single day, um, you know, Monday to Sunday or Sunday to Sunday doing? What is it that you leave your friends, your relatives and everything else that you've known, um, you know, in your entire life so that you can be, do and have? What does entrepreneurship mean to you? The reason why I'm saying this is the sooner you know the, you know, the, the definition of what entrepreneurship really, really is, the sooner you realize what it means to you as a person, the higher the quality of life you're going to reach. I'm going to say that again. The sooner as you know what entrepreneurship really is to you, 
the higher the quality of life you're going to reach. Now, Emma says, creating something new, disrupting an industry, loving what I do. Absolutely. And with the way that you've got all the backdrops and creating, you know, visual effects so that people can brand themselves, you definitely are doing that. Now, Tim Collins says, it means to create opportunities for yourself and others. Absolutely, Tim, because we're here to live, we're here to learn, and we're here to contribute. A lot of people don't even live. A lot of people don't even learn. Entrepreneurs are contributing, all right? You know what I love about entrepreneurship? is the fact that your people are being taken away from thinking and conceiving really, really bad thoughts. Can you imagine if people were left to their own devices and were not creating and relating to other people, how many people would end up just hating on life and wanting to be suicide bombers? So you're absolutely right there. When you create opportunities for others and for yourself, you keep yourself busy and making the world a better place. Because entrepreneurs like what, you know, Emma says, they, they're always innovating, they're always creating stuff. Which actually means that it, 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 you know, it makes the world a better place. Jamie says, progression, getting towards my goals. Absolutely. Tough Shamano says to create. Absolutely. And I know you create stuff out of thin air, my man. Kudos to that. All right. So the sooner you realize in your life what entrepreneurship really, really means, the higher the quality of life you're going to live. Because at the end of the day, you're going to meet somebody like myself. First of all, you don't have the capacity of, um, you know, or the team that I have behind me. You, you don't have the wife or the support that I have or the, capi the capital or the infrastructure that I have behind me. Everything, my library, you won't have that. So if you are going to compare one's level of entrepreneurship or one's um, image or, you know, um, thoughts around uh, entrepreneurship, you will always feel unsatisfied. You will always feel like you're not doing anything. All right. And you will always be procrastinating because you can't compare your today with somebody else's yesterday. All right. You can't compare somebody's end goal with what you are just starting up with. All right. So at the end of the day, you don't have to wait yet another five years or six years um, you to get to where you want to be. Define what success means to you. Define where you want to be at whatever time. Who do you want to be in your life? What do you want around you? What What is it? The bank account, the cars, whatever it is that has to be around you. If you can define it, then you would know you will start leading, you know, living a life towards those goals because you can't shoot at a target that you cannot see. All right. No matter how much of a sniper you are, you know what I mean? If you if, if you're blindfolded, if you don't see where you're supposed to be headed to, there's no way you're going to reach that destination. If you just jump into your car and then you don't put in the GPS, what address you're going to be going to, the GPS is not going to calibrate itself until it reaches Kmart or Walmart or whatever place you're going to. So you got to put the end in sight and then reverse engineer yourself up until to where you are. All right, because at the end of the day, look at this. This is the end of the year. I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm good because everything that we we have done this year has come to fruition. All right. At the beginning of the year, I, I put a pledge. I'm reading out my goals out there. I was supposed to become an author, become a speaker, become a coach, become a seminar leader, become a consultant and become an online advice guru. And I achieved that. So that was my 2017 goals. Now, 2018 goals are to go on to stage two of my four step process towards a hundred million dollar company. All right. So what is it? Define it for yourself. All right. Because the more you define it, the clearer it becomes. Because if you're going to be comparing yourself to what other people are doing and then measuring up to that, look at that, bruh. Look at that, sister. No fingers are of the same height. All right. So if Prosper is up here or Prosper is up here, if you're still up there, don't be looking at what he did or where he, 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 he started off from exactly or how he did it. Define you. Who are you and what needs to happen for you to realize you have arrived? How are you going to know you have arrived? Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, we are all just running in circles, trying to fulfill other people's hopes and dreams. 
did 2017 play out to your own particular goals? Remember, thank you so much for tuning in. I think I'm speaking to your sister or your mother, your, I don't know, some relative of yours tonight. It will be amazing. You know? Emma says you will be so fun on stage. <laughs> Absolutely, there's videos of me, um, you know, going around talking and really, really empowering people out there. It's because I found what my why is. Do you know what I mean? So when you define where you're supposed to be, when you define who you're supposed to become, when that person shows up, are you going to be like, hey, Prosper, what's happening? This is, um, you know, this is the person I'm supposed to be. How are you going to know when, when, when that person has become? How are you going to know when, when you, you, you meet that person? Because that's where the whole imbalance comes in. People don't know who they're supposed to become. People don't know what it means for them to be who they want to be. Did I say that right? I don't think I can say that. I don't think I can repeat that. But if you got it, yeah. Hit, hit, hit a like. But today, I really want you to tag somebody who's young, somebody who wants to start a business in 2018. And um, this sort of advice you won't find in a textbook. This sort of advice is advice that is from these walls here, right? Just here. You won't find anything even if you Google it uh, unless you come back maybe after three weeks. Then you will um, maybe um, find this video lying around because this is what I do with my videos. I take them off of Facebook and I put them on YouTube because YouTube is the second biggest search engine. All right. So that way it helps people to find me even if I'm not there, even if I'm celebrating Christmas with my family. All right. So today, like you guys have been trying to explain what the word entrepreneur means. It means what it means to you. Right. So don't let nobody else define it for you. So the word entrepreneur today and it's got a lot more meanings and it's got a lot of people very confused. You know, they don't even know whether they're doing the entrepreneurship or they're not. They don't even know whether they're doing the right thing or they're not because there's so much noise out there. Maybe I'm also co contributing to the noise, but I think my kind of noise is helping a lot more people based on what they're telling me, unless they're just making me feel good for no reason, which I don't think anybody has time for that. All right. So for some people, it, it, it means running a multi-million dollar company. For some people, it means helping other people be, do and have. For some people, it, it just means you know, not having to report to a place of work and, 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 you know, doing things according to your own way, et cetera, et cetera. Define what it actually means. And for others, guess what it is? Uh, let me just read what Robert says. Um, wanted to be socially, the financial is following along and I expect to catch up in good time. Remember says good. Just give me a second. All right. So for others, modern entrepreneurship is about building new relationships and living a life that you dreamt of. How many, how many in 2017 are actually living the life that they dreamt of? How many of you are actually living the life that, that you really wanted to live right now? So can you type it in the comments there? Because if you came to me four, five years ago, you know, I, 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 I wouldn't have believed that this is what I would be calling work. Like right now, can you guess, can you believe it? I'm working right now. I'm actually working right now. Yeah. Would you think that my mom would actually believe when I'm doing this, that Prosper is at work? Because things have changed, bro. This is how I, I, I planned my life around this whole 30 minute episode. You know? Like nobody, nobody is allowed to schedule a call around this time, no matter who they are. Unless they're Princess Diana. So if, if Princess Diana is listening out there, which I know is not going to happen. So nobody can disturb me at this particular time because that's how I've defined my life. You know, so I couldn't have dreamt that, you know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, calling yourself, calling myself an entrepreneur. I never thought that would have been possible. Let alone, you know, speaking of a life of, of, of speaking gigs talking to whoever I choose to. Do you know I can wake up in the morning and look at people's profiles and decide I want to speak to this person today or not? I never thought that was possible at all. Emma says, me, I get paid to paint and design while watching you drinking tea. Absolutely. I envy you right now, Emma. I envy you. All right. 
So, you know, you know, speaking like this, um, Jamie says four or five years ago, I was in a much different place. I've reached some goals, achieved some milestones, and have already shown how capable I really am, and I have a long way to go. That's, that's cool. As long as you've got the GPS and you've got the anchor, the how will come. The way will come, all right? You, you just put the anchor out there, and then whatever it is, it just gets all squiggly, all right? Some people just go at it blind. But if you've got a blind mission that is so strong, you will overcome whatever fear you have because you know where you're supposed to be. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you, you, you can't even imagine that you can actually just send an email to somebody you respected so much and they will be responding to you back in 10 minutes saying, Hi Prosper, so when do you want to meet? And I'm like, what? I didn't think that was possible. You know? So fast forward, you know, the last three, four years of established Live Long Digital, of established healthy, um, you know, following on my, on my videos. I've, I've started two really powerful shows, one of which you are on right now, and the Online Prosperity Show. Listen, bro, I hate to brag, but I just want to show you what can happen in a mere two to three years if you stick to it. All right? For me, the path of success is, has been paved with trial and error. You've seen me nearly almost every single day that has been possible. Do you know what I mean? But it doesn't mean there was no fires that I was, you know, putting down at the, um, you know, with my family. It was, we just came out of winter right now. We had a, we had three weeks of no heating in the house. I've got a three-year-old daughter. And we had no heating in the house, but within that three weeks, I was showing up, coming in and saying, hi guys, how's it going? Let's get stuff done. So it depends on who you are. It depends on what is driving you. That, my friend, is what you need. Do you know what I mean? So I I've learned a few things about this whole entrepreneurship. The first thing is you have to define what it means for you. And for those that are going to be starting something in, 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 in 2017 or had a full start in, in 2017 and now want to start something in 2018, let me tell you something. If you are telling yourself that you're going to need capital or you're going to need some sort of, I don't know, what is it, expertise or what, whatever it is to get started, stop playing with yourself, bro. All right. First of all, you don't need that much capital to get started. I'll tell you a really funny story. My wife, she purchased um, a couple of, not a couple, she purchased about 30, um, you know those little elephants, uh, no, not, not, not elephants, uh, elves on a shelf. I think I, I don't have one, they're all in the living room. Those elf on a shelf, um, she purchased about 25 of those. I think she was purchasing them from Alibaba for about $2.25. And guess how much she was selling them for? $15. Yeah, and people were clamoring and knocking on our door, stumbling and falling and yelling at her when they ran out. Do you know what I mean? Just because she provided a service through, you know, the, the marketplace on Facebook. So you don't need that much capital to get started. Do you know what I mean? You know, the, 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 more important than any investment, yeah, there are two things that no money can buy. Your ambition and your determination. You can never buy those. You can never Google ambition. You can never get that anywhere else. So make sure you've got the greed inside of you if you really, really want to survive and also cut through the noise of, um, you know, your, your um, what do you call it? Your entrepreneurial journey, you know, your greed and your ambition, you know. So, you know, as you begin your journey, or if 2017 was a full start and you really, really want to make 2018 the best year possible, you want to begin your journey strong, all right? You're going to have a lot, a lot of, you know, fallbacks, downfalls, et cetera, et cetera. But don't let any of them be the definition of where you're going to end up. There's going to be highs and lows, all right? There's going to be hard times. There's going to be good times. Just treat them all as if they're all the same. You know why? Because if you're going to celebrate more of the good times, when the hard times come, you're going to feel it. And if you're going to, you know, you know crumble and, 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 you know, what do you call it? Roll, roll yourself into a bowl when it's hard times. When the good times come in, you're not going to notice it. 
All right? So at the end of the day, you know, it takes a lot of persistence. You got to keep pushing through. Believe it or not, you know what I mean? I'm from Zimbabwe, brah, where there's nothing and nothing. And we had a president that just left, but still the thing is just not set up already. Well, what's your, what's your excuse? You are brought up in a place where I came from, where entrepreneurship was like zero, zilch. You know, and I've set this up. If you've got, if you believe you can do it, if you believe you can push through, do you know what I mean? It will all come together in the end. Most of the time, you know, things just work out fine. Like a lot of people are afraid, even if when they're at the shallow end, they want to hold on to the rails of the swimming pool. Just try and fill the ground and see if your feet don't even touch the ground. Nine times out of ten, you will notice that even if you're going to drown, there's going to be that much of water, you can always spring back up. You know what I mean? So when I first decided to take a leap and, you know, switch from, from being, you know, the, the, the secure job and full-time role uh, onto, I just beat my bullet. Our uh, little girl had just been born. Can you imagine? We just gotten married. The little girl is there, moved into a new house. So I became businessman, daddy, husband, all in the space of six, seven, eight months. So, <laughs> my friend, you know what I mean? So what's your excuse? You know, I lost, I lost just about everything, my dignity, everything that came along with me being prosper. But look at what is, what we've created. Do you know what I mean? You survive, you will go past it. People don't die, my friend. People only die when they give up and I don't think you're going to give up. You know, I went out first few months, first, first year, no work, no projects, nothing, zero, you know. But I kept myself busy by building my blog, building my personal brand. And eventually the blog, you know, started getting noticed. And soon a few projects were coming in, um, you know, easily like that because I kept and I stuck with it. Focus. Follow one course until successful. That's all you've got to do, you know. That's all you got to do. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, determination is the number one skill you really need to have. If you're not focusing on a Monday or if you're thinking that, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Look at where you're supposed to go. And then just, just eyes on the price. The GPS will always calibrate itself. Even if you, you take a wrong turn, the GPS will always find where it's supposed to end up. So the biggest skill you really got to have is, is determination. Know where you want to go and don't let nothing, nobody, not even yourself, stop you from getting where you want to go. As long as you are certain you have some sort of intelligence around you, owning a smartphone means you're much more intelligent than the next person who's probably sitting next to you. What matters most is perseverance. And if you're able to survive through the low periods of your life, look at you right now. Everybody goes through, um, you know, those hard times. And hard times are just meant to make you stronger. So define what it actually means for you to be an entrepreneur. And if you're not going to show up and, and, and feed your, your tribe or feed your audience just because it's raining outside, then you got to sort out your priorities, bruh. You know, so if you're confident on your plan and you put your soul and heart to it, the money will come, the way will come, you know, and the hardest part of motivating yourself is when you're actually receiving no feedback for the first months or even years. Don't worry. People are watching. They're just tired of one click wonders. If you stick with it, then they will know that you, you, you fought the battle. Nothing can touch you. Rosa, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so for you to get through this hardship, keep reminding yourself that you're doing the best work you can and rely on your ambition and keep your eyes on the go. GPS, all right? Even if you're, you, there's traffic and you decide to take a left turn, it will still recalibrate you back to where you want to go. Focus on where you want to go, you know? And most of the time, let me tell you something, you've got nothing to lose. You've got nothing to lose. What's the worst that could happen? You going back to work and then what? You're still going to be earning anyway. You know, sometimes we, we just, 
we just overthink these things. You know, and sometimes have you ever have you ever feared to send to hit the send button on a, on a, on a life changing email to reach out to a potential mentor or somebody you want to interview for your show or something like that? Especially when, when, when you're, you're young or when you're starting and you start having, you know, this uh, imposter syndrome, you know. But as you grow up, you know, it, it becomes second nature to life. Like I said, I can just wake up in the morning, look through my newsfeed and say, oh, who do I want to reach out to today? Tim Ferriss. And then I, I reach out to them. The best way to reach out to people is maybe purchase one of their smallest products and start asking them questions because they can't ignore their customer. Do you know what I mean? So you, you can reach out to everybody else. The problem is, do you really want to though? You know? What, what really matters is, do you have enough courage to execute the things, um, you know, right now that you need to do? Or you have nothing to lose? First of all, you've got nothing. Why, why, why would you lose nothing when you've got nothing? So you've got nothing to lose. Push yourself to the limits. And guess what? When you start creating really good work there, the people that you look up to will start sharing it, not because they like you, but because it makes them look good. So just concentrate on putting out really good work out there. Take the risks. Do you know what I mean? Because you've got nothing right now. So what are you holding on to? And when you take risks, let me tell you something, it pays you back generously. As long as you know what your definition is for being an entrepreneur, whatever risk you're going to take, as long as it's leading you towards where you want to go, you will never feel a case of the Mondays. And let me tell you something about reaching out to people. People that generally have value to offer, let me tell you what they're like. They're friendly and they're supportive. Because they're putting out content out there. And if you, you know, you mentioned that I saw you there, 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 they're very excited. Because then they know that they're having a bit of impact. You know? So if you ask somebody a question, if you're unaware of what to do, or if you're looking for some help, they are more than happy to respond to you with guidance and directions. The best way to reach to people is either give them a testimonial for no reason, just give them a testimonial for no reason the, and then reach out to them and say, hey, listen, this is what, because you've already struck their ego already. Buy one of whatever their cheapest product is and then reach out, you can touch the hem. So there's no excuse for you not to reach out to people that can help you be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. But don't expect everyone, you know, that you just reach out to, to just, you know, stop whatever they're doing because they're busy. You know, and be courteous. Let them know exactly why they should help you. Why? Because you know where your end goal is. And if you know your end goal, people are always more than happy to help you reach that end goal. You know, and Robert says, yes, this is so true. I love it when somebody reaches out to me. And when I reach out in a supportive way, um, the responses was incredible. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? What's the worst that could happen when you reach out to people that are already where you want to go? It, it creates that shortcut. Like I said earlier on, entrepreneurs are here to leave, learn, and contribute. So everybody who is doing something in their life is eager to contribute. Just tap on their shoulder and say, hey, Prosper, dude, you know what? I saw one of your videos. My God, there was so much value. Can you also help me with this? The ego boost, you know what I mean? Because everybody likes to hear that whatever they're doing is impactful. And really, if you really want to win as an entrepreneur, just be a good human. Don't go into it with shady ideas, get rich quick ideas, all of that stuff. Your, your, your soul will only just stop you. Do you know what I mean? And that's the reason why you don't feel like doing certain things because it's, it's, it's inhumane and, and it's not moral. So just... Just do nice stuff. And if you put yourself out there, like what we're doing right now in this Facebook Live and, and how you're going to share this video just because it's motivated you on a Monday, it, it, will, it will help you look good in front of your own peers because you're providing them with value indiscreetly, you know. So don't hesitate to put yourself out there once you know exactly where you want to go because people are always looking to help others who are headed somewhere. You know? 
And when you get recognized in your particular industry, I mean, obviously, it's not going to happen overnight. But once it happens, don't wait for the world to just come and discover you. You know, you'll have to make the world see you. And in my experience, let me tell you something. People will, that you actually used to look up to, they'll start contacting you on their own. But first, you got to raise yourself to their level and beyond. All right? So, you know, if you really want to cut through the clutter of today's uh, noise, create a platform. Either a blog, a, a video series where you interview other people, or um, what else? Facebook Live like this, and then you can invite other people to talk and give value um, depending on what it is that you're doing. You know? Tope, it's 4.37 a.m. here in Nigeria, and I'm thankful I'm awake right now. Oh, brother, thank you so much, man. You need rest, though. <laughs> All right, so go out there and create a good name for yourself. Show everybody else where you are going, because no one is going to copy you. Nobody has the strength that you have. Nobody has the charisma that you have. So even if you put your ideas out there, there is always somebody who's got more expertise, more knowledge, more connections to help you get to where you want to go. All right? So at the end of the day, if you find yourself not reaching your goals, it's only because you're selfish and you, you're lazy and you don't really want to achieve anything anyway. So stop wasting everybody's time. And Prosper, why are you yelling? <laughs> why are you yelling? <laughs> don't, don't be surprised. When they come through and, and, and pick me up and they're like, okay, that's enough, brother. <laughs> In a straight jacket. But, but you get what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean? You know? So, you know, don't strive to become something you're not. Determine what it is that you want to become, who you want to become, and just keep working towards it. As soon as you start showing your face out there, tell your story. You know what I mean? Tell that story. Be known for something. Right now, I want you to type in the comments right now. What are you known for? Can you please type in? What are you known for? Because if you're going to be successful, you should be known for the one thing. Not to be a dabbler. Last year, you were doing this. This year, you're going to be seen with those people. Be known for something. And once you're known for something, you should then live up to that value or those, you know, circumstances, etc., etc. Caroline, how are you doing, my love? Thank you so much for the episode earlier. I think it should be ready. Um, I'll be sending you through the link. All right. Do you know what I mean? So when people start knowing you, it takes time for anyone to get to know, like, and trust you. And guess what? People do business with those they know, like, and trust. All right. So make sure your story is, is, is congruent. Your story is people can follow it through. You know, just consider some of, you know, the, the, the most, um, you know what I mean? Consider some of the most successful products or people out there. The iPhone, Airbnb, GoPro. It's people that just stuck with the one thing. If this year you're doing that, next year you're doing that, um, tomorrow you're doing that, next year you're doing that, people are not going to know what, what exactly you, for you to do. And guess what happens? They're tired of one-click wonders. All right. Tope says, I'm known for bringing humanity back into entrepreneurship through my posts and word branding services. Be known for that in five years, 10 years, and 20 years to come. All right. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to be dabbling and, and just be known for everything, people get confused and people don't like being confused because they're confused already. So they don't want you to add to their confusion. All right. But above all, guys, I mean, obviously, we could say this, we could joke around, play around, whatever, whatever. As long as you know what your definition of entrepreneurship is, strive to get there. And, and, and once you're doing that, enjoy the process, guys. Because, you know, arriving at a goal is, you know, when you arrive at a goal, that's not, that's not what people really want. Okay, uh, you, we are all adults here. It's like sex. When you, when you come and, and uh, I mean, when you, 
<laughs> it's like sex. When you, when you, you know, when you climax and you reach the end destination, what happens? Guys roll over and sleep. Women are tired or not satisfied. Do you know what I mean? But it's a process in between the courting, the whole dating, the whole eating out, the movies in between. That's what people really enjoy. So why not enjoy the process of creating whatever it is that you want? All right, don't forget to leave, guys. Don't forget to leave the life that you really want in the process. Don't wait until the time arrives because the time will never arrive. Because once you've achieved a fair share of success as an entrepreneur, new opportunities, you know, will start knocking on your doorstep. And for many people, that's when the imposter syndrome comes in. The fear of not as good as what people think you are. Nobody cares, bro. People only care when you're helping them achieve their own goals. So it, it then leads you to a vicious cycle of overworking and trying to grow your business further and further. And believe me, I've been there. Just leave the life with the people that are around you, man. Because those close relationships that you have, they're the ones that actually bring out the happiness in you. You can't do well if you don't feel well, bro. All right? So rekindle all those relationships that you have with the people that are around you and make sure that they, they're the first people to tell you when you're doing something wrong. How are you going to know? You know, so at the end of the day, I mean, it's all up to you. Define who needs to be in your life when you have succeeded. What needs to be happening at that particular time? What environment does it look like? What does it look like when you have succeeded? Because if you're just going to go at it using somebody else's yardstick, how are you going to know you've arrived? So like I said right at the start, guys, the sooner in your life you realize what entrepreneurship means to you, the higher the quality of life you're going to reach, all right? So you don't have to wait another five years or six years to get what, where, where you want to be. Live the life now, you know? You can do it right now, you know, taking small but consistent steps towards the future that you've ever dreamt of, all right? Just like what Martin Luther, you know, had. He had a dream, but he had people around him to help him. So don't go at it by yourself. You could have that dream, but you also need to leave during that time. Nobody's going to want to shake hands with a scrawly looking entrepreneur who has been surviving on ramen noodles just because they wanted to create a billion dollar enterprise. They want to have a strong handshake with a person who has created something they're proud of. And I want to be the person who's shaking your hand and saying, brother, sister, you did it. All right. In the meantime, I want you to have a fantastic week. Sorry if I was yelling, but today's a Monday. Come on. I'm so excited. And I really, really wish you a fantastic week and that you are going to define what success and what entrepreneurship actually means to you. And then you start working towards that. Don't let a blog, don't let this video define what it is for you. Because if you, you use it against my yardstick, you don't know where I buy my ties. You don't know who cleans my shirts. And if, if that's what you think, that's what's supposed to be an entrepreneur, you're going to run short because that person is not you. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.